the Ohio Health MS Center, spending a few moments talking about drug monitoring and safety when taking a Baggio or teraflutamide. Prior to starting teraflutamide, one needs to check a TB test, and there's a blood test called a quantiferin that we most commonly use for that. We also need to get a set of liver enzymes, and we need to look at the blood counts. Once we've started a Baggio, uh, because there's a slight risk of elevation of liver enzymes, it's recommended that we check one of the liver enzymes called an ALT once a month for the first six months. Now after that point, we can check the liver enzymes once every three to six months, along with a blood count. And this is the appropriate monitoring when people are taking a Baggio. If we identify that the liver enzymes go up, it may be appropriate to stop the medicine either temporarily or permanently. Other concerns when taking a Baggio include a rare risk of peripheral neuropathy. So if you're taking a Baggio and you have numbness and tingling of the fingertips or the toes, you'd want to alert us of that. Rarely can elevate blood pressure, and in about 13% of people, they have a transient alopecia. That's a doctor word for thinning hair. Interestingly, with a Baggio, if it occurs, this alopecia or thinning hair, it starts around month two and it goes away whether or not you stop the medicine at month six. And so if it occurs, we oftentimes encourage people to continue taking it because it'll go away on its own. Abagio is not a medicine that we want you to be taking when you become pregnant. And so you want to talk to your provider about pregnancy plans prior to starting it. And there are some things that we might need to do in preparation for pregnancy to get you off the medicine. Again, Aaron Boster here with the Ohio Health MS Center talking about drug safety and monitoring when taking Abagio or teraflutamide. Have a great weekend. Thank you for tuning in to this short lecture. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe to the channel.